Hey guys, Beast here. We're going to be going over the seat concepts version for the FJR. Um, we're going to be doing the exact same process. Just want to kind of show you the scalloping, how it meets the tank, what the overall look and feel is. Unfortunately, I only got the main seat. I did not get the pillion. So you'll be able to tell definitely the materials side by side when we get it all together. It's going to be the same process. We're going to peel the staples off, form fit it on there, restaple it. Same thing we do with the KLR. Go watch that video up there and we'll be back shortly. All right, got the cover off. Um, what you can kind of see is it's actually, it's not that bad of a foam. It's kind of a memory foam. Um, it's just not a lot of it. So we're gonna just peel this off, see how she goes. Well, there you go. Um, if you haven't already gone over to look at the KLR video, uh, it kind of covers uh, the T50 staples that I use. Um, find some with a nice sharp edge. Try to get this out in the sun. That uh, does help sort of spread the uh, the vinyl over your seat pan. It also softens up your plastic seat pan. Uh, if you try to do this in the winter, uh, it is very difficult because the seat pan is very hard. Um, I also use the medium quality electric stapler. Uh, if you buy the $30 one, you may have issues with it wanting to penetrate and you'll be bending a lot of staples and it's quite annoying. Um, I think mine was like $60 as an aero stapler um, rather than the $30 one. But I know people have had success with the manual one. If you have a higher heavy duty manual one, ideally, if you got air, pick up yourself a pneumatic uh, staple gun. Um, it's going to be just so much easier for you. Um, I just currently don't have an air compressor here at the house, but I'm hoping some of these wrinkles will smooth out. There's a lot of contours to the FJR seat compared to the um, to the KLR. And so that was a bit of an issue. It's real thin up near the tank area. So the, you got to be careful. You don't have any staples poked through. But um, overall, you can definitely tell the uh, how much better just the fabric quality looks in there. So we may take that for a ride here in a little bit. And uh, anyway, check out Seat Concept Seats. We'll have a ride review down the road. This is just kind of a quick and dirty uh, before and after so you guys can see how much just less than $200 really makes in your ride quality, your ability to be on the bike longer during the day, and just the aesthetics of the, uh, the material that they use. So thanks for watching, guys. And again, go check out the uh, KLR Seat Concepts video as well. That one goes into a little bit more depth than this one did. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the love and support. You guys are amazing. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the adventure on social media, and we'll see you on the road.